Hey everybody, it's Brad at Dayport Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Gonna do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this 1975 Case 580B backhoe that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'll walk around, I'll talk about the features and functions, I'll get up close to everything, talk about everything I know, then we'll start it up, run it around, run it through its paces, show you all the functions, loader up and down, backhoe, etc. As always, if you are in the market for a used backhoe, a used piece of construction, or a used piece of farm equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Your likes and subscriptions help other people who are looking for similar machines find our videos and find our machines, and we truly, truly do appreciate it. All right, like I said, this one's a 1975 580B. Obviously, OROPS and two-wheel drive. It is extend ho which not very many of that era were extend ho it's a diesel engine and it does have the shuttle shift this is a very very clean machine it's a one owner machine it's got 1989 original hours the hour meter does work the pins are nice and tight up here the hydraulics are really strong as you can see the paint is pretty darn bright for a 75 model machine i don't see any cracks or welds anywhere on the loader arms or the or the backhoe tires and rims are in good shape as you can see here plenty of tread life there on the tires and rim or tires and the rims are in good shape on the back as well as you'll see in a little bit when we start it up it runs good the hydraulics are nice and strong All the cylinders seem to be nice and dry. I don't notice any oil running down anywhere here. Now I say it with any used machine, I'm sure if you go over it with a fine tooth comb, you're gonna find a seep or something somewhere, but all these cylinders seem to be good and dry. I don't see any oil running out of any of them anywhere. Again, tires and rims on this side are good. Fenders are good. This one does have a little bend in it there looks like they bumped that frame for the lights at some point and it pulled up just a little bit right there the valve under here for your loader operations everything looks nice and dry here again no cracks or welds or plates anywhere on the loader arms that I can tell nothing that I'm seeing the bucket is nice and straight it's not all bowed or beat up anywhere that front grill is really nice here you'll see in a second everything looks really good and straight there same thing here in the front that whole front hood we'll go take a look here at the side of the block so you can kind of see everything up close here everything up here looks nice and dry and clean I don't see any oil or diesel running down there there's a little moisture right there but I think that's actually water As you can see in the background, it's snowed and rained around here. <clears throat> Same thing here. Everything looks good and dry. I don't see any oil running or diesel running down this side. Everything underneath here looks good. Take a look at the operator station, the platform and everything. That steps in good shape. And looks good down here. Your pedals show very, very little wear. On the brake side over here, your throttle pedal. Seat's in good shape. No cuts or tears in the lower or the back. Operator's controls, it is case controls. 1989 hours. Like I said, that does work. All right, like I said, it's a 1975 
1989 hours it does have extend the hoe we'll fire it up and do an operational video